Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. Our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn. So this channel is majorly covers various topics of mechanical engineering and today's topic will be sore harness. So in this video we will see the four different uh, topics. One is what is harness, second one is what is the indentation test method, third one is sore harness and final one is advantages and disadvantages of sore harness. So let us start the video. Harness is the ability of material to resist deformation. So if we look at the image, so it lead due to the pull, it leads to the breakage. So the resistance created by the chain till the breakage, it's a harness of the particular material. So harness is the resistance to the deformation. So there are three different methods are being used for measuring the harness. First one is scratch harness. By scratching the material, the harness is being measured. Second one is the indentation harness where the ball indenter with the external force impressed on the test piece that indentation is measured and converted into harness that is called indentation harness. Third one is rebound harness where the force is applied till elasticity limit and the energy loss is being measured and converted into harness. In automobile engineering majorly indentation harness is being followed. So let us see the indentation method in detail. So the test piece is intended until an impression is formed by a harder ball with the external force. So if you see the image below, so the ball intended with the external force, it is applied on the test piece that creates impression. That impression is called indentation. So that indentation diameter is measured and converted into harness either by chart or by the force calculations. So common indentation harness scales are, are Brunel harness, Wicker harness, Rockwell harness and Sore harness. Today in this video we will only see about Sore harness. This Sore harness scale is, was defined by Alfred F. Sore in 1920s. This score, this Sore harness scale measures the harness of flexible mold rubbers, polymers and elastomers. So basically it is, this scale is used for a rubber and polymers. So that is the one more name for this harness is durometer harness and durometer. You can see the image below here. So the particular sore harness is being just measured manually by putting a durometer on the test piece. It is a rubber or any polymer, elastomers, anything. So just it is pressed manually. That needle tip intender is just getting inserted into the test piece. So that value is just automatically shown on the display. So it will be easily read out of the display by manual pressing. There are close to 15 different scales on the sore harness, but depending, depending on the intended use that is getting classified. So each scale is having value from 0 to 100. So mainly we use sore harness A and sore harness D in automobile applications. So A scale is followed for a softer materials and D scale is used for a harder material. So like you can see the configuration of A and D scales, both majorly it is just applied by manual force. So A scale is having 35 degree cone tip with a 1.4 mm and the load is 8 Newton. And D scale is having 30 degree cone, the same dia of 1.4 and it can just up, 
load applied can be up to 44.45 Newton. Now let's see about advantages and disadvantages of solar harness method. Like I said, it is only applicable for rubbers and rubbers and soft elastomers. So basic advantages over on this test is it is very portable equipment and is very cheap and less skill is used to measure this solar harness. And you can see like last slide we studied about A solar harness, A solar D harness. These two harnesses are widely used in automobile engineering. In mechanical field also, these two solar harnesses are widely used. You can see, like I said, 0 to 100, the scale is followed in each and every uh, category of solar harness. So under that, soft, it is even rubber band, pencil rubber that lies between solar harness 20 and 40. And automobile tire comes under 70 solar harness and further it is keep on increasing coming to the soranas d till it goes to the extra hard material like hat safety hat it is lying at 80 soranas d so coming to the disadvantages it is not possible to measure the thin samples thin samples cannot be measured in this method and time consuming for specific preparations uh, because in this case it is manual measuring method so we need to just maximum it we need to apply the force from our hand only so it is better to make a specimen for an accurate result so that time consumption is one of the drawbacks if you, you can measure on the part directly as a rough concept but there may be some accuracy gaps so it's better to prepare a test, test specimen and to be tested on that specimen only. So the time consumption for making a test specimen is one of the drawback on this method. And, and compared to other metal methods, harness testing methods, this particular one is very easy to read and very cheap and portable method. Friends, hope you got basic informations and knowledge about solar harness. Thanks for. Please like and share the video. Thank you.